Hey, what's going on, Guardian? Stevie L here. And in a previous video, we covered the quest line for how you get the Nova Mortis, the new Void Exotic machine gun. And in today's video, we're going to be showing the follow up for how to complete the quest line for the Abaddon, the Solar Exotic machine gun. Just like the previous one, this quest is very, very quick, so let's go ahead and dive right on in. First things first, if you'll remember from the previous video, you'll get this quest line after you've completed the quest for the Nova Mortis. After you've gotten that LMG, simply go and speak with Commander Zavala. He won't have a quest marker above his head, but he will have the Hymns of Fire quest ready and waiting for you. Accepting this will start you off on your very first step, which is simply to go and speak to the gunsmith. Once you've picked up the quest, head on over to Banshee44 who will task you with very much like the Nova Mortis quest, getting 100 ability kills, this time as you can probably guess, solar. Your task will of course be to get 100 solar kills in either PvE or PvP, so pretty much like the Nova Mortis you can head into Crucible, Strikes, Patrol or whatever to get this step done. For me, I just headed into patrol, went into the Plaguelands, and started murking mans with fire. You'll get this step done before you know it. Once you do, you'll be asked to return to the tower and speak to Banshee 4 once again. And upon doing so, he'll make note that in order to light the Abaddon's fire, you'll need to siphon energy away from the Cabal. So he sends you after the two biggest, baddest Cabal he knows of. No, not Valis and his big gun, the Shield Brothers. That's right, the final real step of this quest will ask you to head to the director, load up the Shield Brothers, and take them down. So, you should do just that. Go ahead and load up the strike, make your way through, and take down the two bosses at the end. I'm not sure if there's actually a light level requirement for this one this time around. To be safe, I just loaded up the 320 light version of this strike, and I would recommend that you do the same. Anyways, once you've completed it, you'll be tasked with your final objective, returning to the tower to receive your reward. So, go ahead and queue up the tower, triumphantly march your way back to Commander Zavala, who will be waiting with your brand shiny new Abaddon exotic machine gun, the solar variant of the Thunderlord. And congratulations, Guardian, the trio is finally complete. We've been waiting for this one since the very start of the Taken King. Now, much like the Nova Mortis, the Abaddon is virtually a perfect clone of the Thunderlord, coming with all the same base stats, all the same perks, and all the same abilities. The big main difference, of course, is that the Abaddon is solar, whereas the Nova Mortis is void and the Thunderlord is arc. So now you get your choice between the three, which is going to be nice for those weeks when the Heroic or the Nightfall Strike playlist is running solar or void burn instead of arc burn. I kind of do wish that these three LMGs had something between them to distinguish them from one another other than just their element, like maybe make the Abaddon a heavy impact Yolder's Hammer archetype, and have the Nova Mortis be like, you know, a zombie apocalypse or diluvian tier of LMG, but overall I'm happy that we finally at least got these guns. But alright, that is it for the guide video on how you can get the Abaddon exotic LMG. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you're loving your brand new trifecta of Thunderlord babies. Anyways, it's gonna be it for this one, Guardians. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.